This is a tangle I created all by myself, which I'm very excited about, called Lilla Pearl. And this is the tutorial for it. You start with three orbs and then you connect them with this backwards elongated S, taking off from one orb and landing on the other side of an, the orb, making this backwards S shape. And you do that with all three of these orbs, again, taking off and landing with this backwards S. And we'll do it one more time, taking off and landing with the backwards S. I be in all of my tangles with gratitude, grateful for the pen, paper, the air that I breathe. Now I'm going to aura some lines and I'm just bringing a line from the edge and then I connect them all on the other side. And this kind of weights them because since this is called Lilla Pearl in the very center, I'm going to put an orb. So all I'm doing is creating a beautiful space for that orb to sit. So I'm bringing these lines from one side to the center of the other side. And when this is completed, I weight these at the bottom, which you can see if you like that or not. And just keep breathing, light with the pen, light with the pressure as you draw these lines. Now for me, tangling is more about the journey and then the tangle at the end is just the bonus. It's about breathing, finding my breath, not holding my breath or biting the inside of my cheek or pursing my lips or grabbing the pen too tightly or pushing down too hard with the pen. Those are all things that you may notice. If you have a sore hand after tangling, sometimes it might be because you're holding the pen too tightly or pushing too hard. Then we drew the orbs. Now we're gonna do the flux. So I am taking a flux from one side of the orb and bringing it around and landing on that side edge of the, the backwards S we created. Now, every time I go to the flux, I go a little bit down and back, depending on how big I want the flux, how many I want there to be. And really, this is gonna be something you're gonna have to play with. Get out a piece of scrap paper, an old envelope. Before you complete one side, make sure you do three or four flux of the next one because your flux petals on one side need to connect to the other. So you need to have started the other flux shapes on the other orb. And then I can go ahead and complete this other side with the flux. So have patience. One of the things I've really learned with this in trying to get the perfect size or trying to get the perfect shape or this is the reason we call an orb an orb and not a circle is because there's no perfect anything. We're very imperfect people and there's no such thing as perfect art. And there is no mistakes in tangling. So you really just go with it, okay? Once you get all of these completed, we're gonna do mukha. For many people, mukha is not their favorite. It's one of my favorites. So I wanted to create a tangle where you had two lines that you could use to create this mukha. So what I recommend for those of you who aren't a fan of trying to do it in one motion is just draw this top part, stop, then draw the bottom part, stop, then draw the little hook underneath, stop, and then draw the line that auras the flux. Do it step by step. There is no reason that you have to draw a mukha in one motion. And I think that sometimes I've seen in my lives that that's one of the reasons people don't like to do mukha because they feel that it all has to be in one motion. And it does not. It's meant to be fun and relaxing and to enjoy it. So really try just going over, stop, then under, stop, then create this little hook, stop, and then or the line stop and try that and see if it works for you. And so all you do is mukha on all of these, even when they get behind the other petals or whatever you want to call it of the flux, imagine where it would be and draw the lines coming in and out based where you think it would be. And sometimes I tend to take the pen and draw an imaginary line 
just to kind of get an idea for where it's going. So I speed up the rest of these flux so that you can see a little bit of what I do for weighting. I like the flux to look 3D, so I add a little bit of ink right underneath this arch part, you know, kind of where we put that little hook or that little backwards C shape in the, the mucha. I really like to weight that. You can weight it more than I do, less than I do. It's completely up to you. But this is one of the reasons I really created this was so that people could do mucha in between lines and feel more comfortable drawing mucha at their own pace. I don't anyone I don't want anyone to ever feel like you have to do a tangle in a full motion. Even if you're drawing a line, you can pick up your pen and set the line down. I'd rather have you breathe and take a moment instead of holding your breath and trying to get that full line. So here I'm waiting the bottom of those um, original tethered uh, curved lines we did, right? Now I'm taking graphite and I'm kind of just putting it for shading. I really want you to see what you like. This is what I ended up with in the end. I and then I added where I had each section of the flux. Um, I put some graphite around those so that they stuck out more and look like they were folding over each other. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. This is my Lilla Pearl. I'm so proud. See you at the next lesson.